In what quadrant is the sine function positive and the cosine negative? In this lesson, you will learn the proper signs of the trig functions by determining the signs of x and y in all four quadrants. You've previously learned that the four quadrants of the coordinate plane are numbered counterclockwise, starting at the upper right quadrant. You know about radians and have a feel for the radian measure of angles in each quadrant. You've nearly memorized the special angles in each quadrant in both degrees and radians. You've also learned that in a coordinate plane, the trig functions are defined in terms of x, y, and r instead of adjacent, opposite, and hypotenuse. What you may not know is that the reciprocals of each of these functions are also trig functions. The reciprocal of sine is cosecant, it's r over y. The reciprocal of cosine is secant, r over x. And the reciprocal of tangent is cotangent, x over y. Now let's talk about signs, as in positive or negative. Since r is the radius of a circle, it is always positive. The signs of x and y depend on their coordinates. On the axes, x or y is zero, but we'll talk about axis angles in another lesson. In the quadrants, x and y are either positive or negative. In the first quadrant, they're both positive. In the second, x is negative and y is positive. In the third, they're both negative. And in the fourth, x is positive, y is negative. Why is all of this important? Because these signs determine the signs of the trig functions. Cosine is positive wherever x is positive because it's x over r. A positive divided by a positive is positive. Its reciprocal, secant, would also be positive here. The sine of sine is positive wherever y is positive since it's y over r. Its reciprocal, cosecant, is positive in the same places. And because tangent is y over x, it will be positive where x and y have the same sign either both positive, first quadrant, or both negative, third quadrant. What's the easy way to remember all of this? A simple trig chart. The first letters of these words remind us which functions are positive in each quadrant. All, sine, tangent, and cosine. If a trig ratio isn't listed here as positive, it's negative. Now you know the signs of all six functions in every quadrant. Here it is one more time. Some students don't understand the meaning of statements like the sine of theta is greater than zero and the cosine of theta is less than zero. They need to understand that greater than zero means positive, less than zero means negative, and and means both have to be true. In this example, the sine of sine is positive in quadrants 1 and 2. Cosine is negative in quadrants 2 and 3. The only quadrant where both of these occur is quadrant 2. So the meaning of our statement is that theta is in quadrant 2. In this lesson, you learned the proper signs of the trig functions by determining the signs of x and y in all four quadrants.